Now, one technology that's definitely been a long time coming is something called Near Field Communications, NFC, which is the ability to simply touch two devices together and for data to flow between them. Nowadays, more of us carry around NFC-enabled credit cards, allowing us to make small payments quickly in many stores. And the tech is quickly moving beyond small financial transactions. At this year's Consumer Electronics Show, Sony showed off a raft of gadgets to pair with its NFC-fitted Xperia mobile phone. And these NFC tags can store your personal preferences. Just tap the phone to activate. And what is more personal than your password? This NFC ring, designed by a small company from Bradford in the UK, thinks that you should no longer have to type it in. And where better to store it than on something you can easily carry around with you at all times? Now the body of the ring is made of metal and in between the two rims there's space for the NFC electronics in here. Now this is a ring of two halves and you can see they've been colour coded black and white. The white side is supposed to face outwards and that contains your public information that you might want to share with someone else, your contact details for example. On the inside the black half contains your private details, something that you wouldn't want to share with anyone else and will allow you to do things like for example unlock your NFC enabled phone. Or why not use it to unlock your front door? But you do first have to fit it with this rather flashy digital lock. Granted, not something you wear to make a design statement, but we're yet to see wearable tech that does tick that box too. For now, at least, it is strictly function over fashion. John McClear is the inventor of the ring and he's joined us. Welcome, John. Thank you. So uh, you've part funded this project through Kickstarter and depending on how much money people give, you get a different amount of ring technology. That's right, yes. And one of, one of the options is to actually enable uh, any contributors to 3D print the ring at home. Yeah. Tell us about that. So we were thinking with 3D printing that people would be able to want to make their own designs, you know, shapes, sizes and whatnot, because everybody's got slightly different fingers. So we thought, you know, we'll, we'll deliver the technology that goes inside the ring and they print the actual ring themselves and put it all together. You have a private and a public side to this ring. Mm -hmm. My ring, I don't know about yours, is spinning around all the time. Yeah. Um, so what's to stop you from accidentally having the ring the wrong way round and giving someone private information instead of public? So the private side of the ring doesn't have what we call intents and intents are basically things that pass information out um, that would cause a phone to do something. So your phone has to specifically ask for a piece of information from the private side and then it will respond with it. If someone stole my ring they could unlock most parts of my life. There's no further authentication, there's no password that's needed from my brain. Mm -hmm. How do you solve that problem? If you lose your ring, you walk up to your digital door lock, or if you walk up to your phone, and you just hit the reset button. Um, with your phone, you're able to log in with an email address uh, and a password. So it does all the checks and makes sure that you are who you say you are. With your digital door lock, there's a pin. So you pop that in first, hit the reset button, you're back to the state that you were in before. This is possibly one of the first practical uses of wearable technology. We've been talking about wearable technology for, for years. Um, do you see this kind of functionality being introduced into other things in the future? Obviously with the, with the ring we've decided that unlocking things is a sensible thing because you know you, and it's good to have different gestures um, however you might have just public information that you want to share on your wrist or you might have you know something where you unlock your phone when you hold it up to your ear if you've got an NFC enabled earring there's lots of different practical applications and we're really looking forward to the community exploring them and creating and solving new uh, solving problems with you know the tech.